Hello folks, we're another one of those exciting videos. <laughs> Maybe not too exciting. Probably going, we don't want a DIY channel, Dave. Anyway, we've got this piece of wood. And you can see there, this is a bit I was preparing earlier in the video on how to use an hammer. And um, basically what I've got is I've got a piece of wood. It's the right width for what I'm doing. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece of wood up against that. And I'll show you what I'm doing. Where's my other bit of wood? That's the four bits that I was showing you earlier. And what I'm doing is I'm going to put that up against there. So I don't want too much dangling over the end. As you can see, at the moment we've got a bit of spare stuck on the end here. We don't want that bit of spare there. So what I'm doing is I'm going to mark along there. And I'm going to use this piece of wood which is the same width. I'm going to line it up against there got my old pencil and I'm just going to draw a nice line along there, nice and bold so that you can see it basically nice and bold there, you can just about see it on the old video I might go over that a bit you can never, it don't matter with a pencil you can uh, Make it nice and dark. It's easier to follow. Okay, folks? Uh, you want to make life easy for yourself. Okay, you don't want to be uh, squinting trying to find it. Now, obviously, what I've done is I've taken the old... Uh, I've taken these clamp, plastic clamp bits off the top of the workbench so I can then lay the old uh, piece of wood there on the top. Now I want to keep that in in place. I don't want it to uh, wobbling around while I'm trying to saw it. So I'm going to use the old G clamps again, and I'm going to put the uh, put the old bit of cardboard there. Partly because I don't want to damage the wood, and partly because also I don't want to damage the work surface. Because uh, if you start damaging that, then when you go to put the other bits on there. If your surface is a bit up and downy, you probably won't get such a good job with something else you're trying to do. So, uh, and by the way, put the pencil down somewhere. I was trying to do the G clamp with the pencil on the end. Not a good idea. And that's that nice and secure there. Now I'm going to put two on. You don't have to put two on, but more likely it's going to stop where it's put if you've got two clamps on there if you just got one and another reason for putting the old G clamp on is it means you don't have to hold the bit of wood and uh, do the sawing you can concentrate on the sawing and um, as I say again just take it very gentle just just start it off by just drawing a saw back and I'll just follow it along I'm just going to go very gentle and I'd rather take a little bit longer and do a proper job than uh, try and race at it and mess it up because it's a fair old length of line I've got here and I want to get it straight so uh, I won't bore you with the rest of it but uh, I think you get the gist of that. Okay, cheers for that.